It was ancient scripture at the time of Jesus, this psalm, Psalm 23, that you can see on the screen if you're watching the video version. I'm going to read it out for you in a minute in the King James Version. This is Psalm 23, and we're going to look at, in this session, as usual, in best bits of the Bible, we're going to look at what is the main point that it comes across from this passage of the Bible. I'm the virtual vicar, and with me as ever for this series is King James, so cool because he's a big fan of the King James version of the Bible. And here we have the King James version of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever now this psalm is part of a series of psalm written by uh, king david uh, his prophetic voice uh, echoed down through the centuries he has something profound to say here uh, he's talking to us um, with the imagery of a shepherd a shepherd here uh, is seen as someone who has both a rod and a staff in verse four a rod for a bashing away, I guess, uh, say a wolf who's trying to attack the sheep, and a staff uh, to walk with, but also which had a, a hook at the end so he could hook up sheep which had wandered off who were getting into danger, so keeping them safe. So that's a psalm. Now let's go hang it over to you, King James. What is the main point of this passage? Well, uh, Psalm 23 is, in my opinion, probably the most significant uh, best bits of the Bible. Why? Because if you think of the meaning behind it, um, if there's anything that you're going to take from being a Christian, this is it. So let me break it down. So essentially, the Lord is my shepherd. Thus, essentially, God is given like the analogy of, of a shepherd, this idea of protector, some might say a caretaker. And essentially, the leads the sheep, the people, to green pastures and still waters, etc. What I would say here is, is if you think about your life as those individuals who are sheep but being personally led to be fed, you as an individual will be going throughout your life, you will encounter problems. And essentially, Jesus is the um, protector. He is there to help you. And then if you think about the sheep, the people who potentially could die by being caught by a predator or by starvation. It could be somebody who, say, for example, is known for their helplessness. But without the shepherd, you will be subject to these um, issues. Jesus is the person who, and in the form of God, is basically helping you in this. So if you follow the journey of Jesus, yet Jesus will be there to protect you through your life. Now, what I will say is, is that, and this is more of a lay term, if you take the journey of anybody's life, you're always going to walk through the valley of death, meaning that potentially at some point in your life, you're going to fear evil. You will be confrontate, get confrontation of evil. And I think that what's crucial with this is, even though that we are very frightened as sheep, we always are frightened by different things in our lives. Some people um, are frightened by uh, the challenge of, of issues of war in, in society. Some people are challenged by individuals. Some people are challenged by individual groups. It doesn't matter what it is. If you have faith in, in somebody who is your shepherd, i.e. Jesus, you will be protected. If you have faith in him, if you follow his, his, his path, you will walk through um, the valley of the shadow of death, though you will not uh, fear evil if you follow Jesus. So in my opinion, if you take a look at, through the entire Bible, all of this is encapsulated in this one psalm, in my opinion, mm. uh, of what matters <clears throat> to you, where you will always face issues, but ultimately... Um, the Lord will be with you forever. And that's what I think is critical. But you need to have faith and he will be there to protect you. 
Mm, yes, so uh, there is that main point from one of the best bits of the Bible uh, for us to take away with us, uh, going through the valley of the shadow of death, going through dark times. Uh, you can go through them and you won't fear evil if you're following the shepherd, uh, Jesus, if you're willing him with him, following in his ways, have faith in him. He's going to take you through it. That's Psalm 23. Take it and apply it. It'll change your life. See you next time.